Hey there kind people, it's me Yunbin. By the title, I guess you got the idea, I'll be talking about 50-50. I guess everyone already took a side, but who is the actual villain here? But before we talk about that, let's get to know who is 50-50 and what all this chess. 50-50 is a girl group under Attract that debuted in November last year. They had a great debut, everyone in the Nugu community loved them and was excited for their first comeback. And they came back with Cupid, which also received so much love from Nugu community. However, they also had an English version of that song and we all know how an English song can blow up and how much an English song can blow up, especially in K-pop. Dynamite is one of the examples of that. So Cupid also blew up, they started breaking charts, mainly in UK. They were also on Billboard. They blew up so much that one of my non-K-pop friends came to me saying a K-pop song went viral because of someone made an edit of John Cena dancing on that song and all the John Cena's fans made it viral. Seriously bro, every year you will see a song that went viral in TikTok but they didn't break records of top charts, they just stay as a typical TikTok there. That's not the case with Cupid. You can take example of Zoom, it was also a K-pop song which only blew up in TikTok and it was even in an episode of she hulk but it never break charts. However, a few months after its release, out of nowhere Atrack released a statement where they gave some updates about 50-50 that a member had to undergo a surgery and someone trying to poach the group and they will take a legal action against them. But after that, 50-50 took a legal action against the company because the company broke the trust and contract and they want to terminate the contract. And from there, it divided all the fans into two parts. Some things 50-50 is right and they should get out of that company. Some things the girls are being greedy and they want to teach this sport company for a richer one. Which side is right here? Let's see what each side's main point of argument is. We will get a look what each sides are accused of and I will try to defend them. If I can't defend a point, that means it is a valid point. Let's start with the members. People started to hate them when this press revealed CEO sold his car for their comeback and they are living in a great dome in Gundam. That's why people think these girls are ungrateful, CEO did so much for them but they are trying to ditch her. If you think this way, yep, it seems true, probably I can't defend them in this matter but one of my fellow KTuber Everglo uh, points out some interesting details. Why they are getting this hate? When we see company versus idol fans always be on the side of idol. Aren't they really fan of 50-50? Actually they are fan but not 50-50's fan. They are the toxic fan of other groups who doesn't want to see 50-50 a group that is not from big 3 or 4 getting success and breaking their fandom's record. It seems true cause that's the only thing they can say against the member other than ungratefulness or greediness they don't have any point against them. Then let's move on to the accusation against the company. Most of them were directly from the members. The first one is the company broke the task by announcing the medical surgery without opening their permission. And now they feel ashamed to go in front of their fans. I agree everyone likes their privacy but as far as I remember Attract never said which member was she, what type of surgery they are talking about that they feel ashamed of. However, it is the point of the capo, fans want to know what what's going on with the idol. That's how they feel more connected with their idol. All company do that. Then they say the company is not transparent when it comes to money and they didn't get their share. I can't verify this. Only a legal team can actually know if is it true or not. Nonetheless, it was their debut year so company did put a lot of money on them. Now the company's goal is to break even. Probably that could be the reason they didn't get their share. Then they said the company forced them to have an extreme diet. Even the doctor told them not to but the company still didn't listen. I guess if they can prove that the doctor told them that, they could have already on the case. And about the diet, all company do that. It's nothing new in this industry. Everglow have said one company done it doesn't mean other can do it or it is not wrong. I kinda disagree with this. Company are putting money on them. They are kinda like an investment to the company 
company in the future the member will earn money for them so they want to make them more appealing by a way they can earn more fans that means earn more money the company is kind of like a strict parents here although they are strict they want food for you or i should say good for a way that you can earn more money Lastly, some fan accused CEO Jong Hun Jun because in the past he poorly managed the boy group function. They think he is doing the same with 50-50. I personally think you should not judge a person based on their past. They might learn from their mistake and they want to improve in their life. And I feel the same case here because so far he was doing his best for 50-50. Now tell me, who you think is the villain here? Maybe nobody. Here comes the biggest plot twist in this story. A few days ago, we got the news that Kina decided to drop her case and return to Atra. After that, we get to know a totally different side of this story. Many things are coming up. When you are watching this video, I'm pretty sure there is some more new information about this matter. However, yesterday this was released an interview with Kina, where we get to know the real villain, Ansang Il. I guess he was the former CEO of Atra and now he is the CEO of the givers. I'm not totally sure but as far as I know the givers are the one who hired the producer for Cupid and they manage the all distribution rights and stuff. The CEO Jung Hong Jun has been accusing the givers trying to force the group. In the interview Kina revealed Ansung Il has brainwashed and manipulated the members. Even faked a COVID-19 test which was actually his test but he told Sina to send it to the company and to tell them it was her. By then they will get out of the company trader. So remember that medical surgery thing they were talking about? That was COVID, not even real. That's why they said they feel ashamed. It was just an excuse to file a lawsuit against Atra. Ansang El was the mastermind behind all of that. He said he made them to go on Billboard. He has a connection with Billboard. If they don't do as he says, it will go down. He even said if they don't file a lawsuit against the company, then they will get a big investment from CJ or Kakao Entertainment, which will eventually put them in a big deal which was totally baseless and lie as far as i believe and now we can totally see who is the real villain here everyone has their own opinion i personally think 50 should get back to their company and give the company a second chance to be honest if they change the company their music will not be same they are not a self-produced group like stray kids they will never feel the same because the producer and creative team are not the same i feel they will end up like bap nonetheless i hope the best for the both members and the company Let's see how this story unfolds. Until then, have an awesome life.